Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. Sorry about the sun, it's I'm trying to block it out. So I'm just about to head down to the farm because I've got to do the ponies, I've got to get them in and I just thought that I'd do like an evening routine for you all. I'm super sorry that I've not really been up to date with my whole vlogging. Um, as you may know that I went to the All Star Academy and I sort of was just super, super worried about posting stuff and was told not to give it away and not to let anyone know about it. So even like the whole packing thing, I was like, oh, I should have filmed it and all that. And you know, I was just so worried that I was going to slip up that I just didn't. Um, so I am really, really sorry that there hasn't been any vlogs, but I promise there will be. Cause we've got all new lovely little girls at the yard. So I, it'd be fun to get some videos up because we can do Chase Me Charlies and stuff with the girls and it'd be really fun. Let me just shut the gate and hug us in the back. It is very warm. I actually put jumper on because I didn't think it was going to be that hot. But I'm hot, so we need to take some windows down. I gave my car a clean this morning, so it's all clean. I've actually got to pick one of the old girls up, Lottie. And I've said, Lots, can you bring a spare change of clothes? Not clothes, sorry. A spare shoes because the car is clean and i'm trying to keep it clean because it needed a good clear out for the winter um so yeah i'm not too like i said i'll probably just do sort of an evening routine meet the girls go on a hack just fun stuff um and yeah just be a little bit of a random vlog but i feel like everyone likes a random vlog we don't like it too sort of organized do we right so i've just picked lottie up hi guys so lottie's new to the yard as well with other girls we've got i lizzie don't know and yeah lizzie Maisie. Maisie, and i think they may have met emily but if you're not she emily's quite new as well um are you riding not sure not sure not sure maybe I was meant to be going, it's really annoying because I was going to film that I was like the preparation yeah. for tomorrow for the regional final, like patting the Evo and getting yeah. involved in that. But then mum don't feel well oh. and then obviously she's not had much sleep where she doesn't feel well. Yeah. And then if we wanted to leave, we'd have to leave at 4am. I'm just going to leave it and like, do you know what I mean? I'm going to have another chance to do it anyway. Yeah. And also it's just a, like a lot, isn't it? We just come back from the, the all stars and trying to do everything. Right, so we're now down the farm. We've had to change some of the water drinkers around in the stable because Fleur is being a little bit impatient and kicks the wall when she wants food and then it just spills into Nebo's stable, spills into her stable and he's on wood chip now because of his legs and it is just soaked. So I put two bowls in this week and took both of them out. So I need to get the barrel, take the remaining stuff out of the stable and then lay a two bag of bed mat shavings down so then Lucy's got a comfortable bed. Sophia, what are you doing? I've got to muck out, I'm doing all my jobs. And lots is probably, you've got to yeah, muck out. Yeah, I've got to do my jobs. Lots didn't want to ride, but we're going to persuade her. She's so. going to ride. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I'm going to ride. <laughs> right, so I'm going to quickly do a time lapse of me clearing out the stable and then I'll lay the bed and I'll be back. <laughs> Danny because he wanted to come. 
coming, he decided to get out of his field and eat grass that was growing on the other side. So mum said, you know what, let's just bring him in. So he's in. What are your plans for next year? With both knee, both knee, both fleur, uh, all your ponies. Um, well, my plan obviously is to sell honey and malagua, um, and fleur. Obviously, I want to start her off slow, but hopefully get get her out jumping. Obviously, when she's fried next year as well. Um, and then just keep Nebo ticking over as well because. If I keep taking him over and keep going, then by the time that he sort of had his moment out going really well, um, he'll then just tell me when he needs to start slowing down. But then hopefully then flow will be a bit more produced. And then I do make that decision. But at the moment, he's very driving. <laughs> and um, not happening anytime soon. What about Danny? What's happening with Danny? Um, injury so whenever he gets peak fitness it comes back and I don't think it even comes back as like oh my god I'm in pain it comes back just as an old injury I guess it's like if you run too much and you hurt your leg in the past it sometimes comes back and you're a bit yeah you know it just comes back so all right we're going to put him out and then obviously just so start running away so I'm just going to do like, possibly some hacking with him um because the vet said look he is fine to do stuff but probably not as like jumping big like he was meant to um so just do not packing and if she did want to take him to the odd little dressage or something like that he would be absolutely fine he just obviously can't get super super fit <laughs> because that was when that's when he was um uh, why he's too irritated um but no and i could go down the road the road of sort of Nerve and doing all that, but then I just thought, you know what? Let mum enjoy him, and if it's only when he gets peak fitness, he's not going to get super fit from just every hack hacking every now and then. So, yeah, so he's just not going to get in a load of work basically. If to narrow that down, and Mac and Jack, I think it's those are our yeah. last ones. So, with Jack, obviously, Jack's been put out in the field because I have explained that. When he was in, he obviously gets quite stiff, standing in the stable for a while. And then I've decided to put him in the field because he's getting old now and I can see that he is getting older in himself. Like he has been quite on the circuit since a really young age. So I think he was sort of drilled in a little bit even before he comes to me. So I thought, you know what, I'd rather, even if it might be a year or he lives two years, three years, ten, who knows, but I'd rather him be happy and be out with other horses, being a horse, than stuck in a stable stiff. So he's out in the field and obviously he will stay out in the field because he is actually like fully retired. And then Mac, to be honest, we see him cantering around yesterday and he literally looks so well. So I'm hoping that the muscle is sort of just self-healing in the field where he's walking around a lot and also he'll probably get possibly next summer some like more physio and just to sort of like back ladies just to sort of build that top line or sort of muscle up um so we sort of re-look at him by the time spring summer comes along next year um and yeah hopefully if all goes well we will start with him and the backing process because but if not he can be a lovely field ornament like he is already so we're not that fast <laughs> But, yeah, I think that... He's just everyone? there to live his life. Yeah, he's just there. <laughs> but, no, I think that is everyone. And hopefully, this lunge pen... Is he done? I'm going to be weeded it. And then, obviously, once it's been weeded and we can put the hardcore down and I don't really... I'm just going to talk like I know what I'm doing. Like, but hopefully it'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Got my straw. <laughs>
hi to the vlog, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm riding in a minute. You too. Look at that lovely bed. Stunning. I think it's just mares in general. Lose yeah. really filthy with loads. Mare, don't even want to talk about no. it. Um, I can back that up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went into a bed one point. Shocking. When you went, when you put, she was laying down. I thought, what the hell is the bed looking like this? What Honestly, she, she smells out and everything. I was like, oh. Right, let's get rid of this concoction. Oh, yeah, Mm. <laughs> yeah, mum's obviously did for that one. Um, <laughs> we just need to give them a little solution. Mm. And then once the ponies are mucked out, then we can start bringing in. Down that. Um, Get like a mini blower for around here, a miniature one. I could have just bought it round, but, <laughs> but we didn't. Ooh. Ooh. Might as well just back up and go the whole way round. Like a wonky wheel or something. Yeah, it's bloody hard. <laughs> Go on, you can make it. <laughs> 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 Free labour. Right. Let's do honey some hay in a. She's got quite a bit in her stable already. Yeah. Chunky little monkey. Let's get them the ponies some chaff and nuts. Wow, 
Right, so I've just brought Nebo in from the field. He was out in the jump field, so he got a little bit of extra grass. <laughs> so I'm just about to pick his feet out, take his rug off and his mud boots because he was having the fly boots on, but obviously where it's getting a little bit muddy now, he's con for the mud boots now. Alright, I'm about to come in with me because he's going to get out. Right. So about the awful lighting, but I'm just going to get him off these mud boots. Right, we've just got to get Fleur and Honey in. Mox is coming to help. Yes. Um, and then I'm literally just going to do the same, put their feet out, take their rugs off and boots and pop them in. Always refuses to come in where Honey on the other hand just wants to get in as quick as possible just so she can eat more food. Do not know how to do that one. <laughs> a bit, oh, there he is. It's a bit confusing this one because it's like a control head collar for the one there. Don't get me wrong, I'm like a little bit when it gets mixed up, it's a little bit hard. It's just a pressure head collar, so that actually like doesn't hurt them, but it just sort of they've got pressure points here where it sort of makes them like, listen. Know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, she sometimes has it because she drags through grass and she's a little bit like forward getting in. I wouldn't say forward, she just wants to get in a stable bit. And now we've got to sort of like pretend that we're taking honey in. Well, we are taking honey in, but for Fleur to walk over, so we have to like pretend that we're... Bye, Fleur! Fleur! Do you want to take, just put a popper in the pony block? Yeah. This is how she acts. Steady. We're getting the our ponies in. in. But they're, no, they're deciding not to come in. Actually, Melego is walking. So is Dale. But now they've stopped again. We're just waiting for someone else to go back, capture me, and they don't want to come down. They just have work is it work smart and not harder yeah so we don't have to walk so we're so doing that, that. <laughs> they're all walking up for their horses and malengro is there and dow is there in the blue rug but i'm sh pretty sure if they grab rodney and bear that they come down anyway well dow's on his way down anyway malengro likes dow so hopefully when he clocks on here come Right, so we're now out on a hack. I'm on honey. I've not actually ridden honey in over a month, just not really had time. <laughs> and I'm with Sophia and Lulu. Hello. And then we've got some new girls that I need to introduce you to. So we have Lottie and Dow. We've got Lizzie and Bear. And we've got Emily and Missy. And we've got Maisie and Pixie. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on the spot. 
and I'm going to give them my phone and they've got to introduce themselves and their ponies. So we can start with Sophia because we know Sophia. Hi, I'm Sophia. You've seen me before. I've got Lulu just on a lovely pack of these lot. I've, she's been out of work for about a week. Um, she's been a little bit fresh. Hi, I'm Emily. This is Missy. Um, I'm 15 and I love show jumping, like mainly, but I haven't really been like jumping her recently because... Um, I don't know, she haven't really had the time. But yeah, she loves show jumping. That's what we mainly do. Um, and yeah, I love coming up the farm because like everyone's always up here and like, after school, like we all just go on big hacks together. And yeah. Oh yeah, Missy's eight. I've had her since I was, she was five. Ron, I'm Lottie, I'm 13. This is Dal, he's only five. Um, and we're quite new to the farm. We've only been here a few weeks. And Dal's favourite thing to do is jumping, so that's mainly what we do, but he also loves hacking out. As you can tell, my favourite thing about the yard is just all the girls because we all have a laugh and have some fun, especially after school with our cats. Hi everyone, my name is Maisie, my horse's name is Pixie. Pixie's nearly eight, I'm 14. I've had Pixie for about a year and a half now. Um, I do a bit of everything with her, a bit of jumping, a bit of dressage. Everything. She's a cob, lovely little cob. Uh, my favourite thing about the yard is either the girls or all the cows and the pigs. Hi everyone, I'm Lizzie, I'm 14. This is Bear, he's only four. I got him last year in July, um, he was only just turned three. I got him because I wanted a horse that I could make my own, so that I made him. Um, and yeah, he's been pretty good. We don't really slow down but yeah just moved to the yard um last week he's settling in nicely and i like to start jumping with him um but he doesn't really know how yet so i have to teach him get free to give me lessons <laughs> for tonight it's actually going down to six so it's going quite cold i just literally need to rug fleur and nebo i need to pick fleur's feet out and take her boots off i'm just going to get them ready for tonight but my camera has not got much battery so once fleur gets in her stable she gets pretty impatient because she just wants her dinner um, so i'm just going to bring her around So I'm just going to whip her boots off. So Fleur really struggled with feet picking out. At the front, she was always okay, but at the backs, we found it quite a struggle to do. So like I said, it's going down to six tonight. So 
I do need to rub her up. She's all ready for bed and I'm just going to pop her in her stable. And then I'm just going to rug Nebo and then get their feeds ready. I do need to do her hay also, so I might just quickly do that now. Nebo. He's all cosy. I just need to blow the yard quickly and then I'm done. Now I just need to quickly make them some feed. So I'm literally going to get some buckets from Nebo. Nebo gets joint and mobility and energy from Summerhill Supplement. And Fleur gets the calming powder from Premier Performance. And then they both get some turmeric. So I've just fed the ponies, so they're all snuggled up in bed with their nice thick warm rugs on for tonight because it's going down so cold. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and follow me on Instagram which is Fifi's underscore Welsh underscore ponies. Bye!